right now. And we are just, there we go. We got that record button going and we are super excited today. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday and you know what that means. It is Fantabulous Friday with two sisters. Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Janice, AKA Wellness Diva 5.0. Fantabulous Friday. It might get a little loud here. The roofers just arrived to replace our roof. Um, so we're kind of excited about that. All good things happening. So <clears throat> Fantabulous Friday. Gosh, where do we even begin? And um, I'm just going to say maybe we should start with a Stunod Award. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm, be, before you get to the Student Art Award, I do want to let everyone know that I am live at Pickle U. Uh, we are very, very early here. As you can see, people are already starting to warm up, and we are getting ready for our 8 o'clock round robin after a great night last night, uh, getting together off the courts. So I'm here early and wanted everyone to be able to see the background and actually see all the different courts. Everyone is, like I said, already warming up. So you might hear some, some popping of the ball, and that's okay. All good stuff. <laughs> Awesome. So that, that is amazing. I know how much you enjoy doing uh, the pickleball. Um, I did oversleep. So needless to say, I did not get in my kickboxing yet, but I'm going to work on that. So let's talk about the student awards. Um, this could be, it. It. oh, wow. There, there's a lot of them and all I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, I'm going to have to say about the student awards. They are certainly well-deserved um there's no common sense involved so the first one i think maybe you know what i'm going to be chatting about is all the stunads who stored gasoline in unapproved illegal transporting gasoline in bags and you guys i'm sorry you get the student award come on like really well, you know, and I and I think that you know, you, you, we we find this sense of humor in it to a to to a certain degree because first of all, it, it's basic common sense. I mean, it's basic logic. Gasoline is, uh, is a uh, you know, an explosive. You know, in certain situations, it's explosive. You have not only that, you, the fumes, the fumes alone. You are dealing with an as something that ignites things that can ignite things that fuels vehicles. So. I'm not sure where you what would even possess you to think that a shopping bag would be appropriate with, let's be real. How many times do you have a shopping bag you gotta double up on it because you know it's gonna split and or there are states that actually charge for those bags now. So the whole point being, you have to use a little logic, you have to use uh, some, some common sense. And uh, I think common sense went out the window. And the sad thing about that piece to it, and this is the part that's actually kind of sad, that you're that frantic over gasoline um, that you would go to that uh, type of object to use to transport something. And a lot of people don't realize there's laws about transporting gasoline. It has to be in a an approved container. And there's a reason why it's an approved container. It's a different type of plastic. It's not Rubbermaid PS, because a lot of people have been using Rubbermaid, which I thought that was even more just as bizarre as the plastic bag. But the reason why is it's a certain material, certain type of plastic that is approved to actually transport it. So yeah, I, I would agree with you on the student award for that, yeah. Okay, and then the next one is political. I'm just gonna come out and say it. It's definitely political. Um, now, I don't care. <laughs> I've said this several, several times. I don't care if you're a Republican. I don't care if you're Democrat. But what I do have a problem with, and this would go if this person was a Democrat and not supporting their party. And let's just give the next do not award to na 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye, Liz Cheney, you schmuck. Well, you know, again, you know, how I look at that, and, and I think this is the difference between different the two parties. Republicans are not, or conservatives in general, are not afraid to uh, obviously not call out something that they don't agree with or a uh, policy procedure or whatever it may be uh, with the opposing party. They're not afraid to call out their own party. And the difference between that party and the party of the opposite side is they don't. They stick with you thick and thin. They don't care. Uh, they really don't care how 
not so nice or not so good or not so relevant you are, you still get voted in. So I think that's the two difference between the two. And, you know, sadly, you know, she did a disservice. She probably truly was not a conservative and that's okay. You know, you know what I, what I say to those particular politicians that are kind of wishy-washy within your own party, either make the change or, or kind of shit again off the pot and, and join the other party. Because if you're aligning more with their ideologies, it's, a, I get that, you know, it's different. It's a, a, an opposing view. Well, then stand by that. Be postured and say, you know what? I really have more of the opposing side's ideologies. Therefore, that's what I should run with. Or that's, you know, that should be my platform. So I think that's the, the sad piece to it. Um, and then you also, when you think of when they're going overboard, like she has been doing, uh, she's still on the Trump train, um, PS, uh, the opposing party. Some, you know, he, he's not in office anymore, people. I'm not sure whether you realize that or not. However, and certainly if he was in office, the crap that's going on, all the major crises that are going on in our country would not be happening. But he's not there. So therefore, you keep bashing a person that's not in office. What is going on in our country today has nothing to do with him. And, you know, you don't like it. Well, go run on their ticket. Go, go, go be it. Go be the opposing party that you're aligning your ideology with and, and be postured in that. And she's not a very postured person for, for playing the games that she is. But the good thing is she's out. Like you said, nah, nah, hey, hey, oust, you're out. That's it. So, exactly. so now we've done our Stupid Awards. Let's get to some fantastic Friday stuff, right? What are you doing that you are celebrating everything about everything that you accomplished this week? Little, middle, big, tall, whatever it may be. Too many times we talk about this and we and we get we get frequent messages from from viewers and listeners that you know they feel defeated, you know, the we come on and we're so upbeat, we're so positive. Hey, we have uh, things that derail us as well. But what we want to show you, it's not about us. It's about our how we are evolving and switching and maybe have to uh, have to pivot sometimes. We're showing you that it's possible. So don't get down on yourself. Always, always uh, embrace your wins, whether it's on a pickleball court or whether it's in life, anything that you're doing, your health, your wellness, your fitness, um, you know, maybe you are really got a checklist going on and you're kind of whittling away at it. That's a win. All the little things that you are doing to get you further and going forward, whether it's housework, whether it's organization, whether it's fitness, whether it's mindset, those are going to be the things that going are going to move you forward. Right. So celebrate them. Pat yourself on the back. Look yourself in the mirror and say, geez, I did a good job. Right. Yeah, so sorry about that. It's very, very noisy here. I thought they would be starting on the other end and they are right above me. So I want to apologize for all the noise. And then of course the dogs are, are flipping out. Well, so, that is okay. yeah. but you, why don't you give your tip a, a tip and we will, we'll get, like, get everyone get on with their celebration of their Friday. So, um, <laughs> thank you. Um, what I wanted to say was, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of SMART goals. S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timetable. I'm trying to look it up right now. Um, and I always think of that when I feel maybe well, that, that, little, that little urge to kind of not beat myself up, but, for, you know, just to give you, for instance, um, I overslept, so I didn't get my workout in. And of course, by the time I wake up, I'm like, oh man, like, like, why did I do that? Blah, blah, blah. And I immediately have to cut, my, <laughs> excuse me, cut myself off and think of my SMART goals. So specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. Uh, you left it at the restaurant. Uh, hold up one second. I'm going to go on mute for one second. Okay. So you just have to go ahead and... <clears throat> kind of readjust that. So give yourself the opportunity, acknowledge, okay, I didn't get up in time to do my workout, no big deal. And how am I going to solve that in the future? Well, the one thing I'm going to do is set that, set two alarms. The two alarm system for me works out well. And I do the alarms, you know, you can hit snooze. I'm a health alarm. Okay, I'm back on. I'm just going to scoot over here. 
Okay. You got to see the courts now. I'm coming outside. Sorry about that. I had to mute myself. That's all right. So, you know, setting the timers three minutes apart rather than don't keep hitting that snooze. You got to set separate alarms. And then obviously when the first one goes off, it stop. And, you know, hopefully you get up, but the next one goes off. That's it, man. You are, you are out of bed. And that's what does it for me. So those things that you go back to, to kind of say, okay, well, I just need to readjust those few little things and then celebrate that, acknowledge it, make a backup plan on how you're going to solve it. And you move forward because obviously we can't go back in time. So in the main, the number one thing, and I know I've said this a thousand times too, you have to be gentle and kind to yourself, celebrate the wins, acknowledge the fact that you didn't wake up early, come up with a plan and move forward. That's going to make you feel good versus, oh my God, I can't believe, I, you know, I was going to do my workout. I didn't get it in. I feel so lazy. Like the negative talk, you have to really, and, and to this day, sometimes I remind myself of that. I, it's very bad to talk negatively about yourself or different things that you're doing because for every action there's a reaction so why not be smart about it kind of put those Absolutely. goals into play and let them work for you versus you stressing about how you're going to react or not react so that's my big tip for the day well that is awesome well you guys you know what the bottom line is we have a different theme every single day and that is really to instill fitness mindset, feeling good, getting what you got to get going and get it done and just start moving forward. It's not always easy. Sometimes you have to take those baby steps, but don't underestimate the baby steps because those little steps are going to bring you forward to your goal. And with that, this is Carol Sue, AKA Naughty Boss, live from Pickle You with two sisters. Hey everyone, this is Janice, AKA Wellness Diva 5.0. It's going to be an amazing sunny, get up into the seventies kind of day in North Haven, Connecticut. And um, thank you so much. And we will see you Monday morning, Mindset Monday. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Coming up. Bye, everyone.